So this week I'm going to share the principle of hurting not harming. Okay, hurting not harming. So what does that mean? Well, I was down in uh, down in Oregon a few weeks ago now for a conference at the Pain Summit, and there's lots of excellent people there, physicians, therapists. There was lots of doctors there learning about chronic pain and how we can better manage it. And one of the main themes in the first talk by Dr. Kevin Curcuro was um, chronic pain is a mental construct that is developed in our mind. And how that happens is when we get injured or say we have a new onset of back pain for no apparent reason. It just kind of came on and you woke up one day. And what happens is in our mind we think, well, there's a problem. There must be a damage to our tissue. And as time goes on and maybe you try treatments and nothing really works and you're struggling, then your body continually thinks and your mind continually thinks that there's damage. And this is a huge problem because in our mind we've constructed the concept that we can't get past this, that this is, you know, a problem that will never go away because that's our reality. You know, I see this every day in my office when I see new people. This is their story. Chronic pain, nothing's working. Um, and they get cut, stuck in a construct in their mind that they're harmed. And that's a pure survival mechanism because our, by nature, you know, you know, some of the research shows we've been humans here for about 200,000 years. And the survival technique for over this time has been to fight or flight. And, you know, if there's a, you know, a tiger coming your way, you run. If there's, um, you know, damage you, may, you know, so if there's, a, you know, a, a fellow, you know, a, an animal or say a human is attacking you, you want to fight. So this is an inborn mechanism of survival. It's run by the autonomic nervous system in the brain and also in the body. There's another component to that nervous system. Reaction is freezing. And that often what happens, you know, with people with pain is they just generally give up. You know, they're, they feel they're hurting they feel that they're harmed and they can't do anything. And that's their world, that's their reality. So the whole concept here is to change the idea around this because safety is the thing that we need to remember when we're trying to deal with pain. Because if we keep doing the same activity and we keep getting pain, then that's not um, a helpful construct for our mind because we're reinforcing it. But if we can do things that are not harming us, for example, say you pick up a bag of groceries and it hurts you. Well, what happens if you pick up your finger and start moving it? You know, that probably won't hurt you. And then you can extend it to your hand and then your arm and then maybe a cup of tea or a cup of, you know, something heavier. And the whole point here is to do activities in your day that don't harm you, to prove to yourself that you can do them. And as we begin to do simple things like moving our digits and our, and our limbs, over time we can pick up maybe a small bag of groceries. And because we're telling ourselves, look, this is not harming, this is only hurting, then we can continue to do those activities. In fact, one gentleman comes to mind, he was a sheriff, retired sheriff, who was talking at the conference. And he was a gentleman that was just told, look, you gotta start walking. And this guy, you know, was, planning for a back operation, they decided not to do it. He was hardly doing anything these days. And he basically took the message and he started to walk. And, you know, before long, he could walk an hour, a day, and even more. And he was just sharing his story of how he thought he was damaged and he needed surgery. And, you know, when in fact, he was still in pain, he was still hurting, but he learned the construct. He's not harming himself by walking. So I thought that was a, a great testimony and a great little phrase to remember. You know, if you're hurting when you're doing stuff at home, just say to yourself, I'm hurting, I'm not harming myself. I'm hurting, I'm not harming myself. It's just a little construct of change, a belief system change, which can set in motion and more activities and, you know, lead you towards a better productive life. And I think one of the big take homes from the conference for me was that we need to live in pain and get on with it. You know, I, I believe that there is, we can actually do more than that uh, based on more techniques and constructs and um, different approaches. But 
for many, many people, the pain never goes away. And the reality is we can be more productive. Um, so hopefully that's helpful tonight. Um, just to summarize one, change your belief that you're damaging yourself when you're doing activities. Um, obviously don't do too much because you may get a spasm and then you may feel, well, this is harming myself. Um, so don't go that far, just do some activities. Second, um, actions with safety. Do our activities with a safety framework in our mind and also in our reality. And the third thing, change your thoughts. You know, say to yourself, hurting, not harming, hurting, not harming, and work from there. So hopefully that's helpful. And uh, I like being on here tonight. I'd like you to ask, I'd like you to share some comments again. Um, if you liked it, let me know. If you'd like to hear something else, let me know. So thanks so much. Uh, just final comments, legal disclaimer. If you're struggling with pain, remember, visit your own physician. Or if you don't have one, visit a local community service, maybe a walking clinic um, that can maybe help you as well. So I wish you all the best and um, enjoy your activities. Thanks so much.